Alice the Doctor back with another Diag video. Today in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to properly diagnose oil leaks, seeps, and all that good stuff. Today I have with me, today's patient I have with me is a 2012 Dodge Charger with the 3.6 Dodge Chrysler Jeep Pentastar engine. Like I said, I may name my channel that because it seems like that's all I be working on lately. Yeah. So the little bit of background about this vehicle, um, this vehicle came from another shop. They tried to sell her a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna get too deep into it, but one of the things they tried to tell her she needed a rear main seal. That's not the case. And today, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you why that's not the case. Let's grab your wrenches and let's roll. Nah, not quite. You don't need any special tools in this video. These are the only tools you're gonna be needing. A good light and some brake parts cleaner. Now, you may not see me use the brake parts cleaner in this video because it's pretty clear um, what's going on and I'm gonna show you why. You're gonna need brake parts cleaner and I'm gonna show you why I'm not using brake parts cleaner in this video. Mm -hmm. So I got my light, my special tool I'm gonna use today. <laughs> and I'm just gonna get a good general idea of what's going on. Look at everything. So right here to here is the transmission. We're not really focused on that. We're focused on from here on forward. As you can see, it's very wet under here. Uh, and that's why normally when you see stuff like this between the engine and transmission, that normally indicates a rear main seal, but I'm gonna show you why that's not the case on this particular car and with the other penistars. Now, from this angle, I also can see the valve cover gasket. As you can see, hopefully you can see it in the video. You see wetness around it and it's starting to drip a little bit. Let me see, can I get more of a beam about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like I mentioned, well, I haven't mentioned it, but I'm not gonna use the brake parts cleaner until I re repair that area because you want to clean it up after you repair it, of course. But that, I can clearly see it's leaking from that area. Now, you want to use brake parts cleaner in situations like if this is the, if it was leaking from around the oil pan or I may clean this area up right here, but uh, basically what's going on is with any oil leak I have a top oil leak and you should always fix the oil leaks from up top and work your way down because if you start from the bottom what you can see like oh yeah it needs rear main seal it needs oil pan uh, gasket you fix those things and the top still leaking it's just gonna run back down and it's still gonna look like the same area is leaking so that's why we're going to work our way up. Speaking of working our way up, I'm going to lower the car back down and check my the most common issues on these cars, which I'm going to uh, mention in a little bit. But look at the front of the engine. This is the front. This is the crank pulley. This is the front seal. Um, all this wet and dirt debris, that normally indicates a leak. But as you can see, hopefully you can see that. Uh, it's drizzling down. So we're gonna lower the car back down because it ain't much to see underneath since I know I have an upper leak now. So let me lower this thing back down and we'll discuss some other things at the top. All right, got the car lowered back down. Now the first thing you wanna do is remove the fancy engine cover. It just pops right up if I can get a good hand on it that and take another look at the valve cover and as you can see you can get a better picture of what's going on now uh, let me switch lights now it's shining hopefully you can see that but it's seeping oil from around the valve cover gaskets so I know that's one leak you can also get over here 
So that's a clear indication of seepage slash leak. Now that's more of a seepage. Now, let me show you the common issues with these cars. If you look down in the valley, I uh, hope you can see it. Uh, let me switch lights. Let me see. If, I can get if you look down in the valley, you see you should be able to see a puddle of oil. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think you can see that. I, yeah, I probably put an arrow on the camera so you guys can see, but that valley from where I'm standing is very wet. And what that means is the oil cooler is leaking oil. These are common issues, either the oil cooler fail and leak antifreeze, which I will have another video showing you how to replace the oil cooler. And I had another Dodge Durango, I probably put it somewhere in the screen, that caused the engine to blow a head gasket because the oil cooler was leaking coolant. But this one is leaking oil real bad. So it's leaking oil from the oil cooler, draining from the top down in between the transmission. And that's where all that wetness come from in between the transmission and the um, engine, which making it look like it's a rear main seal. That's not the case. So I'm gonna get an approval from from this vehicle to do a valve cover gasket and a oil cooler. Um, I think we're doing some tires on it, little knickknack stuff like that. But I'm gonna let the customer know what's going on with the vehicle. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If you have any questions pertaining to this job, well, not job, but diag, diag video, please write down in the comments. I will have a video posted soon on this how to step-by-step, step, how to change the oil cooler. I will have that soon for you guys so you'll know exactly what to do at home or wherever you are. Alex the Car Doctor out. I really enjoy you guys. You know, please like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.